You guys know what time it is, mail day time. Let's get into it. All right, so I have a huge mail day here. It's actually not gonna be as big as the one that's coming up like next month, but this month I got a bunch of stuff in. I wanted to show you guys real quick before I add them to the collection for the long term. So the first thing that I picked up was, <laughs> I picked up a ton of these protector cases that I showcased in my you know quarter century duelist box. And I mean a ton, let me show you. So here are like, I, what is this like 50 of them? Yeah, I, I picked up like 50 of them I think 50 is enough for the high-end cards that I have and I started already putting them in there I want to show you guys like so here's like the black luster soldier I actually picked up while we're on this <laughs> I picked up three more of these because the price dropped so much I was like it was like a no-brainer that I had to pick them up um, You can see there's one here actually I might as well show you all the ones that I have here So like these are the PSEX. I ended up opening them up from their cases and and just putting them in here. They just feel way nicer. By the way, like if you know of how to store like these th 35 point, well, these are not like the exact size of the 35 point. They're a little bit smaller. Uh, no, they're actually a little bit taller. But if you know of a way to store them, because these are the ones that are sold by Ultra Pro and these are loose as hell. I can't deal with this. I, I need something a little bit better and a little bit tighter. This is the original one that comes in. It is super foggy though. It's really disappointing. But you can see here the clear is unmatched man it's really really nice so right now I have them in here just so that they don't get scratched up and stuff and yeah so I picked up three more of these so I have the sealed one and I have the other ones were sealed as well but I just didn't want to store them sealed so Here's that, and then I have a SDK first edition. This is the one that I opened recently on my SDK, SDY end of year video. There's another PSEC that I opened. This is Chinese Blue Eyes, I have a video coming up on this. This is Ultra Rare Trihorn Dragon. This is for sale. Um, I have this uh, also in a video coming soon, Rainbow Dragon. This was actually a BGS9, you can see here, <laughs> but I cracked it off camera just because I wanted like a really minty copy. And this one's actually very, very nice. This is a Dark Magician LOB. And then here's the third Black Luster Soldier. So I picked up three of them, as I said, you can see here. This, in my opinion, is one of the most beautiful cards I've ever seen. Uh, I'm, a <laughs> I'm a huge fan of it. And yeah, I, I think I'll definitely be picking up more if the price keeps dropping more. I mean, I'll cost dollar average down. I don't even care because I just think that this is like such a masterpiece of a release. The only problem is they reprinted it in the TCG, although it's like an inferior copy. It's just, you know, uh, distasteful. Another thing that I recently picked up was this right here. Now, this is not a new regular Doriado. This is actually a European copy. The reason I picked this one up was because uh, someone in my Discord just bought a random pack of TLM. He opened it up and he pulled this baddie right here. So it looks really, really clean here. And it is. I mean, it's very, very nice. I think the only problem with it was like some print lines on the back. But I don't even care about that. Who cares? Super happy to have this in pack fresh mint condition um yeah so i picked this one up and this was pretty expensive i mean i'll tell you guys what i pay i paid like 500 dollars for it <laughs> usually they go for like 200 bucks but i you know it's like pack fresh i had to jump on it and i don't think i will be able to pick up a clean copy like this for any cheaper so i was like i just bit the bullet uh so here's another PSEC, and then last but not least is another pickup that i had and that is a new collection i'm starting and that is the 25th anniversary i picked this one up from a discord member as well as a patron this is uh red eyes 20th anniversary let me know if you guys want a video on these cards so these are basically the first starlights to ever exist in the game they're basically starlights with a 20th stamp right here they're ocg exclusive and the coolest thing is that they have red text to them right now this doesn't work on every card but there are some cards where it really works and the one that it really works on in my opinion is her right here i picked this one up for around like 100 150 i don't remember exactly and then i picked this for 180 and this was originally actually a psa 9 but these are plagued with corner issues especially on the top left here and then the bottom right 
for some reason, if you actually look at all of the listings online, you'll always find whitening in these two spaces. This was a PSA nine and there was like nothing wrong with it. No whitening, no nothing. Picked it up, cracked it. And I got an amazing deal. I picked it up from the Facebook groups and I think it was like 180 or something like that. Yeah, total bargain in my opinion. I think raw right now goes for 180, but any raw that you usually find are ones that did not get graded because they have those corner issues. So yeah, I got two of them here. Uh, these are going to start off the collection. I am going to be looking for the others. If you have others that you want to sell to me for a pretty decent price, like I'm not going to be paying like crazy prices. I prefer raw and uh, you know, at worst case PSA nine, I don't want any PSA tens, but I am going to try and collect all 240 cards of these, or I think it's like 223 or something like that. I'm going to try. Okay. <laughs> I ordered the Mahad already and I ordered the Harpy's Feather Duster because those are really cheap. I need the others though. So if you have them and you want to sell them to me, I'll happily grab them off your hands. I definitely think that this is probably one of the best looking Dark Magician girls of all time. So yeah, super pleased. So that's another pickup that I had. Let me move these out of the way. Oh, and shout out to Tyler, by the way, with the red eyes, he sent me this right here. This is the Prismatic Art Collection. Um, this is the first one that they released, I think in 2021. They pretty much had 39 cards that had alternate artwork. So Stardust got an alternate artwork and they all came in Prismatic Secret Rare. So Prismatic is obviously what we call Starlight here. And I'm actually thinking of picking this set up too, because that one has so many exclusive arts. Like it has the IPs, uh, like both the motorbike version and the non. It has Apollosa, both versions. It has every version of Red Eyes. Oh, and it has a Red Eyes Black Dragon that in my opinion is probably the best artwork for Red Eyes that I've ever seen. We got it in gold, which is really disappointing. But in the OCG, they got it as a uh, Starlight Rare. So I want to pick that one up as well and just make a binder out of that. It's going to be like maybe 80 cards or something like that. I, I yeah, I, <laughs> I'm definitely dabbling more into the OCG just because it's so affordable right now, especially with the Japanese yen being so weak. I'm able to pick up cards that I was like just dreaming about before. So yeah, I'm definitely picking up more OCG. That's for sure. Okay. Next I picked up Plague Wolf right here. I saw someone pull this online and I ended up... <laughs> paying like more than PSA 9 price for it just because he pulled it and I need a pack fresh one for the binder. So I'm happy to add this one to my FOTB binder and there are updates on that coming soon. Next thing that I picked up was this right here. So I actually imported a bunch of these. They're available on my website for I think they okay so the retail price is 115 USD and then shipping because they were originally in the UK. I think shipping was crazy. It was like 50 or 60 dollars because it's quite heavy. Let me show you what it is first, actually, while we're here. So it is this. Okay. So this is a millennium tablet, <laughs> tablet of lost memories. I think that's what they called it. It's made out of solid resin. Okay. It's like, you hear that? It's like stone and it is so well done. Like, look at this thing. Like, yeah, it, it's pretty polished. The, I like that they put Yu-Gi-Oh here. They didn't do like the stupid, you know, let's duel or... <laughs> And you have that cringe craft. It's simple. It's really nice on the back. The front is really well done. You can see that the details are very, very, very intricate. They did a really good job. The only complaint that I could have for this is that you can sometimes see like the 3D effect. You see that right there? I wish they polished that more, but otherwise, dude, like for $115, it is like really, really well made and it is numbered. So it's limited to 2000 pieces here. And this was number 0476. I don't know. I, I, I think it's a really, really good deal and it's bigger than the tablet trophy that I have, right? So this is a great budget option for those who are interested. So if you're trying to pick one up, they're available on my website, strictlyseal.com. You'll find them under the promo tab. So yeah, I, I think that this is a really nice bargain and it comes with an acrylic stand so that you can stand it up on your shelf or wherever you decide to display it. My next pickup is this right here. So this is Okay, well, actually, it's supposed to be a Dragon Ice from Gladiator's Assault, but you can see its name is misprinted. So this is misprinted with another secret rare that comes out of glass. This misprint right here is exclusive to the booster boxes. And this right here is exclusive to the blister packs. So you can't get them anywhere else. And this is just a badass misprint. I was able to pick this up for, I think it was like, 
250 maybe 300 dollars i would have gone more i mean it was super minty so <laughs> if he asked for like 400 450 i would have gone for it because this card is actually very very hard to come by like it does not pop up very often and when it does it's usually really beat up i, I don't like the condition this was mint so i was like i was ready to pay like 400 500 but he was okay with like 300 bucks or like 250 i don't quite remember it's quite a while ago so yeah i'm, I'm quite happy with what <laughs> with what i picked up here it's a perfect addition to the binder and it's one of the last few gladiators assault secret rares that i was missing so yeah very very happy with these all right the next thing that i picked up actually let me do some movie magic and clear this out of the way three two one okay so this is a binder right here this is still work in progress this is the alchemical black you guys have seen this from before. Let me zoom out real quick. Um, so <laughs> what I picked up here is I'm doing it. I'm <laughs> I'm going to pursue the champion pack cards in mint condition. So I picked up these guys from Ruxin, Ruxin34. I'm sure you guys know of him. Uh, <laughs> I don't know otherwise what are you doing on my channel. But yeah, I picked these up from him. He opened a bunch of packs and graded the cards. All of them came back nines and he pulled everything. So I was like, you know what? Let me just pick up what I can here. He had CP3s. He had Pyramid Turtle. And then here we have CP8. He opened all of CP8. And this one, I believe he graded a PSA 10. So it was just more expensive than I wanted to pay. These guys though, they were nines. If the cards were going for like 100, and 50 i'll pay him pretty much like 175 to 200 depending on how playable it is like this guy here was like 25 bucks but i paid him 50 just because it was like really really nice if you have other cps that you pulled or you know are like super mint definitely hit me up i am trying to complete the set i'm looking for <laughs> i mean i don't know if anybody will have cp1 those are going to be difficult but i'm looking for not only cp the cards but i'm looking for wrappers as well so yeah definitely hit me up i'm very very interested in completing this collection i finished tp already but with these i'm only going to be collecting the super rares and i'm actually even thinking of doing only the supers and the ultras for tp as well you know why because honestly we had a fire uh, happen like in my building and it had me questioning whether i want to put like all my cards in all of these sporadic places and you know it's it just it just made me question it that's that's all like it's like should i not put everything that is of value into one binder and then have like my master sets you know i'll plug in like unlimited lob in there for example like i'll put unlimited lob in the slots where the hollows would be so that way it's not like it's ruining the sets but it's also not like putting for example like a huge ton of value in like 10 different binders it just makes it very difficult to grab everything and go or stuff like that it's just it just had me questioning things okay let me know your thoughts on that like do you recommend like putting all the valuables into one binder and then having the not so valuable stuff be in like the master sets because like I mean, with LOB, that's the only one where it's like the master set is super, super expensive. Maybe with DMG, um, like for Magician's Force, but like, I don't really care too much, for example, on like Pharaonic Guardian, right? Like Pharaonic Guardian can stay, <laughs> Pharaonic Guardian can stay a master set. Let me show you guys that, by the way, while we're here. Yeah, so here's my binder for PGD and... It starts off obviously with PSV here. We have the orange sleeves and then here we have LON, LOD, and then here's the PGD. By the way, these are arcane sleeves. Uh, <laughs> you guys will be seeing those soon, so. If not, they're probably already available for sale at strictlysealed.com. And if you're in Europe, you can check them out at cardboardconcierge.com. But anyway, back to the main topic. Like I was just thinking like for PGD, like the maximum amount of value in here is like what? Maybe like 500 bucks. I don't think it's that big of a problem to keep them as a master set like this. But if it was you, would you want to like put the first editions like in these spread out binders? Cause I have like 10 binders on my shelf, right? With all the sets and stuff. Or should I just make one binder dedicated to first edition hollows and then have the master sets in their own thing? Like what would you do in my case? I don't know. Uh, just had me thinking a little bit and yeah this is uh mfc here i don't know why this is missing i'll have to find that common but yeah this is mfc here we have the pink sleeves you can see the dark magician girl rocking them right here very very nice i think you guys are gonna love these man you guys are gonna love them i don't know let me know your thoughts <laughs> you know what i mean i i think it's uh 
I, I just got really scared when, when that happened, right? When the fire alarm happened, I couldn't grab everything that I wanted and I had to leave some stuff behind. I, I definitely grabbed like my slabs, my high end stuff, but there was just some stuff like my LOB blue eyes that was in the binder. A lot of those set cards that I thought were a little too expensive to just leave in there. <laughs> All right, the next thing that I picked up is another ghost rare. And this was a huge check off of my like list. So this is the GBI 001 binder. These are available on strictlysealed.com. They come with like the hieroglyphs on the inside. They're limited to a hundred pieces and every single one is serialized. So you know exactly which one you're gonna be getting and which one you are in the order number. But yeah, anyway, I was missing these two in first edition. I had a black rose in unlimited, but now I officially have it in first edition mint condition. Look at the hollow foil on this. Look at that. Pack fresh mint condition. I'm still looking for the stardust. That one I think is going to be a little bit more difficult. By the way, these are the arcane white sleeves. But yeah, I, I am looking for <laughs> the stardust and first edition. But I don't think anybody would sell one that is not already graded. This was uh, pulled by somebody and I bought it from them for an unbelievably high price. But it is pack freshman, so I'm happy about that. And then, yeah, basically I have a pack fresh mint black rose dragon that is unlimited. I might be selling this. I'd rather trade, to be honest. I'm looking for more trades. This is like also mint. I believe I pulled this myself. I don't remember exactly, but yeah, I mean, uh, it's really nice to have this almost completed. There's pretty much every ghost um, that exists other than like these guys. I, I don't really collect this. I, I think it ends with here, Scarlight, Red Dragon, Archfiend. Uh, these guys are just basically my extras and doubles. If you need any of these, I guess just email me. This is the ghost share collection here. I probably gonna throw in like the other hollows from 5Ds, but I'm missing a lot of them. So I I haven't really started organizing anything here. If you have some hollows that you've pulled, like some ulties or secrets that you don't feel like they deserve grading because they're <laughs> just too low of value, I'll happily pay really well for them. Like if they're 20 bucks, I'll pay you $40 for them, for example. Like you get really good money for them. And yeah, it'll help me complete my 5Ds collection. But yeah, that's pretty much it for that. That's the GBI 001 binder. I think everybody that's received this has been blown away by the quality. <laughs> it's actually an incredible binder right here. Okay, and then last but certainly not least is a new collection that I'm starting because, well, basically I picked up a collection from uh, someone that's local to me and they had a lot of Shonen Jump cards. So there were some that were really meant. By the way, this is the Cybernetic Blue. You can pick this up at strictlyseal.com, but they had a lot of them and a lot of them were super minty. Now, if you're looking here, the ones that are mint are the ones that are in the pink sleeves because they're pretty much in their final resting spot. The ones that are in purple sleeves are not really suitable for my liking in terms of my collection. Like, I don't think that they're mint enough. With that being said, just like the <laughs> Stardust Dragon, just like the CPs, if you have Shonen Jump promos that are absolutely mint, I will pay you extremely well for them. These are what I have accumulated so far. I will probably drop a video once I've completed the set, I believe it's like 100 cards in total and yeah this is basically everything that he had i pretty much just searched it out looked at which is the mint ones i put them in their spot and then the ones that are like not so mint i put them in identifier sleeves so that i can replace them eventually but yeah i i really wanted to collect this this is a set of promos that i hold near and dear to my heart and this is one of the most familiar promos for most people they are everywhere and there's a lot of mint copies. So it's not like they're super expensive, but I think that they're super unique. And I don't know, I'm a big fan of these. I, I think that they look fantastic. I Yeah, I'm a big fan, okay? That's really all I have for you guys in terms of pickups. This is everything I picked up in the past few months. Uh, there are some other stuff like the collection, for example, that I bought, but I don't really wanna show everything. You can find everything in that collection on my TCG player store because everything is there that I didn't want to keep for myself. This stuff, I'm 
I'm definitely keeping. And then these guys will probably go up for sale once I have replacements for them. But yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it. That's the Shonen Jump collection. That's my mail day. This is the cybernetic blue binder. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying collecting in binders again. I, I really wanted to make something that is presentable, that looks high quality, that looks classy, and it just looks like something you'd find on a very, very nice bookshelf. So that's pretty much it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you learned something. I'll see you next one. Peace.